first thing that you're going to want to do... You should get some sh dress shoes, uh, mainly brown or black. I got black uh, just because I got to match my uh, tarp right here. I'm using a tarp because it's a really large amount of leather. But if you can find a leather jacket big enough or another amount of leather big enough, just go for it. You should start to get a feel of where you want to make this boot, like how long you want to make it, how short, whatever you want to do. So you should lay down your foot and mug, kinda, where you want it to put it, like if it's up on your shin, or below your knee. I'm probably going to do it somewhere below my knee or above my knee. So what you should start out to do is fold it over from the right side, and then fold it over from the left side, because you're going to have to connect them both near the end to actually make the boot. So I'm probably going to cut up that seam over there and then cut somewhere in this location over here to fold them over. Make sure now that you fold it over and you can mark with a pen, pencil, whatever where you officially want it to start and make sure to leave at least a little bit of slack in case you need to make it just a little bit bigger so that the boot can go on. And then, do the same thing for the other side, but do not leave as much slack, because you don't want to make it too big. But remember, before you start sewing, use your first template to your advantage, and trace it on more leather to make a new one, so that you don't have to waste your time making another one, since both of your legs should be the same size. Now, as you can see right here, I made a little flap on this side, to go over the laces so you don't see them and I think it looks a lot better. This part is totally optional but I'm gonna start doing that for the other side too. The last step is to obtain a dark colored pants. You can do sweatpants, suit pants like I used, but you can do black, brown, gray, just anything really of a dark color and matches the color scheme of your color of green you're using for your costume. Finally, this is the finished product for the Green Assassin Pants video. I hope you all like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And make sure to check out my Instagram in the description and the Green Assassin cosplay playlist in the description with the Arno Dorian cosplay playlist in the description. Hope you all have a nice day and see you in the next video.